Hi, my name is Kamisha Grand Swaby. I am the founder of Women Honoring Our Mission. I am a mother of three beautiful children and a wife to an awesome husband of 15 years. I'm also a child of God. Hey, welcome again, guys, to Good News Jamaica's Hidden Gem, where we search an island for awesome individuals. Today, we have with us here, Kamisha Grand Swaby. How's it going? Great. Thank you for having me. All right. And thank you for taking the time out to come and sit with us. So, tell us a little bit about Kamisha and what Kamisha stands for. All right. Kamisha is a passionate young lady, grew up in Manchester, was born in Manchester, South Manchester to be exact, a little uh, district called Coco Walk, okay. um, that's in South Manchester. I spent a part of my childhood there in Manchester and then came to Kingston to be with my mother. I have been I'm a wife for 15 years and a mother of three awesome uh, children. I am just a passionate person okay. where it comes on to persons people, helping people, and making an impact. I've always wanted to make an impact since I was a child. So, so like, as you tapped on making an impact and yes. being passionate about helping people, you are the founder of whom? Yes. So tell us about whom and, and where the inspiration for that came about. All right, so whom is a, as it, the name stands for women honoring our mission. I believe that as women, we have a mission in the world to impact lives. Naturally, women are nurturers. Okay. And so with a, in a household, it is better with a woman, the impact of a woman. I, that, that fact underscored to me when, when I lost my grandmother, uh, we noticed that the life in the family went with her uh, for the most part you found that she was the, the gel the glue that kept everyone everyone together kept the family wonderful Christmas was about visiting grandma eating grandma gungo soup that kind of thing so um, I've always known that women had a mission it was it was a lifelong mission for us to impact lives in a great way and so whom I've always been creative and able to conceptualize ideas and God speaks to me through dreams okay. and whenever I share this story it's normally I, I find it strange um, to share it's a little weird um, but I, I actually went to sleep one night and heard the word who I was in the dream on the street saying hello ladies I'm here to speak to you about a whom initiative Interesting. and there was someone in that dream who was actually sitting on an old fridge on the side of the road and saying, well, look here, or if I talk about this thing because we don't love one new fridge, you know, <laughs> you know. And so when I woke up, I'm like, Hoob Initiative? Wow, what is Hoob Initiative? And that thing stayed on my mind for a while because I didn't understand what Hoob was. I knew from a long time that my dreams always have meaning and God speaks to me through dreams, sends me signals, messages in dreams. And so I always thought of, you know, what could whom really mean? But it wasn't until approximately two years later, I had just gotten out of the hospital with my son who was admitted, my baby. He was two months old at the time. He was admitted in the children's hospital. And so I was home with him when I just freshly got home with him. I sat in the couch and I heard a woman honoring our mission. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's, that's who? That's that just, what who? That just speaks volumes to listening when God is actually talking to Exactly. Them. And it, it also, for me, it underscored the fact that in the worst of times when situations may be difficult for you may be going through a hard time because at that time when i got the clarity of what whom was it was a difficult period as i mentioned that my baby was in the hospital and so he actually just came out of the hospital so i was not in a frame of mind where you know i felt like things were going well and it was an opportune time for any revelation but then god showed up and use that downtime, that rest time that I had 
to actually, you know, reveal something, the meaning of a vision that I got two years before. Nice. So, what what year exactly was it conceptualized? In 2019. Do you mean when I got the, the dream initially? When the it was first? So the organization was actually incorporated last year 2021 it was made official 2021 i got the full revelation as to the name and everything in the year 2020. so you're saying that that it actually came to fruition in 2020 yes so what was that like for you um seeing that dream come to life like what was it like for you it was it was interesting because for me the most important thing was to act on whatever vision that god gave me it was very important for me to actually i felt that i had a duty okay. to act on what the lord had given and so that is why the step was taken to make it official to have it registered with the company's office have directors on board and things like that it was also interesting so you notice that whom is actually an acronym Definitely right and god usually speaks to me through acronyms and it's interesting as well because the of we are whom and our mission is mend so we're on a mission to mend lives that is how we impact lives and the acronym mend actually stands for motivate equip nurture and defend and so we motivate women and girls to be their, their best selves. Okay. So we have different programs to help with motivation. We have motivational talks, uh, workshops, and things like that to motivate the women. In terms of nurturing now, that is where we would ensure that you know we are helping to develop those gifts and talents as well as cater to their actual basic needs okay. because and then nurture it so it's motivate equip nurture defend yes so equip of course with our workshops we're equipping them with the knowledge and tool sets that they need to go out there in the world to Be nurture successful. and the nurture yeah. is where we cater to their needs their okay. physical needs their basic needs and we defend we advocate for the rights of these ladies nice, we, nice. we we stand for you know equal rights and human rights for all women right. awesome, so, rise. Awesome, so. so like um so how do you guys get funding and 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 what kind of what kind of projects have you have, have you guys taken on thus far okay so our first project that we had which was our official launch it was called navigate volume one which was a personal development webinar where we had different speakers come on board sally and gray was a speaker we had tiana blyden as a speaker and myself (laughs) as a speaker so we spoke about you know creating that balance in your life so that you can tap into your all your all areas of your gifts that the Lord has given so you're looking at the spiritual man you're looking at the natural so as children of God sometimes we find it hard to balance if it is that we're involved in church activities then we're focused on those activities and not knowing how to actually balance the whole life as well so we had a speaker to speak on how to balance we spoke on how to actually monetize your gifts and your calling and uh, so that was navigate volume one and then or the second major initiative was our christmas initiative the outreach program which was 2020 or 2021 last last year year, fresh (laughs) fresh initiative it was our pamper kit and grocery drive and with this initiative we chose to cater to women primarily women who are battling cancer and they have overcome based on their treatment so we 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 don't even want to we didn't use the word battling cancer but conquering cancer so we pamper her while she conquers cancer 
<laughs> words are very powerful. And so it yes. just depends on how you use your words. Love Definitely. Love so we, we, we declare, we know as children of God, the words, as you said, are powerful. And so we declare that they are conquering nice. this thing that they're battling. While we, so in getting funding, we wrote letters to different companies to come on board to give donations of food items, non perishables, okay. and also personal care items. And we also sought sponsorship from individuals you know nice, we did blast on facebook on instagram on whatsapp and you know just word of mouth saying hey we're doing this would you like to partner with us and that kind of thing we had persons come on board nice. and assisted us in getting those packages together okay cool so what's next for whom though so for, for whom the next thing that we're going to do is navigate volume two okay that's something that is on the books for this year it was it is definitely be backed by popular demand there was such a great demand and request after the last one those who missed it and heard about it was asking for the recording okay. that kind of thing because it was extremely impactful we're also working on another set of projects so for the christmas pamper kits and grocery drive that is something that is going to be happening annually okay. but one of the things that we want to do is that we are we, we know that while we had this outreach program in christmas and focused on the cancer patients because we saw that there was basically a gap there that needed to be filled during the christmas period you find that most persons do charitable um, efforts and what that is mostly geared towards children children's yeah. home you have the toy drive and you know things like that for children for Christmas and these persons who are who are sick and shut in are usually left you know behind most times they're so, not thought of so like um do you guys cater to like a specific parish or region or just any and everybody in and around the country anyone in the country as a matter of fact whom is supposed to be global that is the, the vision is that we will be able to impact lives globally so what we want is to have ambassadors to come on board with us regardless of the country in which they, did, they reside uh, to come on board and help us once they know someone who is in need then they will be able to assist they the vision is really like a paid forward kind of initiative where you know we do random acts of kindly kindness every day so that's another acronym rick um and we encourage people to help us to give hope so we can call it the acronym boss then that's right <laughs> acronym boss. I love that. I love yes so we we encourage persons to get to do random acts act of kindness yes. everywhere and help us to bring hope which is help one person every day see the next one then <laughs> right that <laughs> help one person every day because sometimes you may look at it and feel like okay i'm not rich i don't have big money can help with this but sometimes the tiniest every make a make a book. trust me when 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 i reflect on the feedback from the persons who benefited from the groceries and the pamper kids you know it, it it really concretized it in my mind that you know little is much definitely. definitely especially when god is in it and so even though the bags were, were were not as big as we would want it to be you know persons were so grateful they were so appreciative the smallest thing exactly exactly and what was appreciated by the persons also that received it was the pamper kit that did. it had a personal touch we we partnered with partnered with the naturals and we got some natural products shea butter and natural soaps and so on so the pamper kits actually included shea butter and it was in a jar that was labeled women our mission yeah. yes and we also had you know a little note on each package and it said hope is medicine for anyone that is sick and tired and it had a nice little bowl properly packaged as a gift because outside of groceries 
persons would get help with groceries mm -hmm. but we wanted to make sure that there was that personal, personal touch mm -hmm. added to it that they felt these persons who are bedridden who are conquering the big mm -hmm. you know feel like okay somebody mm -hmm. thought of me this package was especially created for me okay. so the package had comfy socks it had masks it had moisturizer it had soap it had uh, cotton balls okay. whatever you, you name it nice. those personal care items right, were so there yeah. yes so we are just um for individuals that, that are actually out there watching that might want to get in touch with you guys to help, um, how can they go about helping you guys as far as adding value to the organization? Okay, all right, so we are seeking ambassadors to join us and if there's anyone who is interested in coming on board as a home ambassador, you can go to tinyurl.com slash home ambassador. Just say that one more time. So tinyurl.com slash home ambassador. So that's W-H-O-M. A M B A S S O S S A D O R. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, so it's tinyurl.com slash home ambassador. We are also we also partnered with partnered with Sampars online. This, that is where we got our groceries from. So persons who were abroad yeah. that wanted to yeah. donate to the program, they actually ordered online on Sampars website. Uh, so the link for that is tinyurl.com slash home food drive. Okay. So that's tinyurl.com slash home food drive. We're on Instagram as Women Honoring Our Mission. We're on Facebook as Women Honoring Our Mission as well. So we can be contacted. And what you're doing is it, just a great initiative. And, and I can see where it's, it's making and leaving an impact on those that, that actually really need it. Um, before we actually close, what I want you to do is provide me with one or two gems that, that you can actually impart on those watching and those who might be in, in situations where they're conquering certain things. Just give me one or two gems to kind of like leave with them. Alright, so what I would say to anyone who is conquering something is that there's nothing that is too hard for God, right? And God once God is in the midst, you can smile at the storm. For just generally, for me, what I live by is if I can just help even one person, that's a mindset that I carry when, when I'm hosting an event, whether it be a webinar or whether it be the outreach initiatives, it is if one person is helped, if, if I make one person's life better, with what I am doing, then my living won't be in vain. So it's about living full, ensuring that I utilize all the gifts that God has given me to ensure that when that day comes, when there's no more breath in my body or when I'm caught up, you know, there will be nothing left undone. So it's living full so that we can die empty. You hear that people? Living full so that you can die empty. So at the end of the day, it's just a matter of what you do and just you continuing to push yes. and, and listen to me i can see great things coming for this organization and whom yes whom to the world thank you so much all right great so just want to say thanks once again for actually taking the time out to come and share with us and we're looking forward to great things in the future all thank right thank you again for having me all right thank you guys for joining us once more for an awesome interview and stay tuned for more great content peace Thank you for checking us out on Good News Jamaica TV for content that informs, inspires, and transforms. Please like, share, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more positive Jamaica content. Walk good.